Hey guys, what's going on? It's Harbaugh25, and today we are back with some Rams franchise. And so, before we get started, um, one thing I did change is I left it on 10 minute quarters. However, I changed the uh, minimum play clock time to 14 seconds instead of 20. So, that'll um, hopefully speed up the game just a little bit to where we're not dropping 50 burgers every game. Now, I was uh, reviewing the footage, and, I mean, it was tied up at uh, 38, I believe, with, like, two minutes left in the game, and then it was just score after score, but I uh, still wanted to adjust that a little bit, because, I mean, Matt Stafford is now the all-time leading passer in a game uh, by two yards, but, yeah, so a couple things we need to do before we kick off this week. Uh, first thing first, we are going to go to... Our coach and spend some upgrade points. Uh, we got 26, so let's see our talent trees. What do we want to go for first? There's a lot more this year than there is last year. Um, so before I spend any on my coordinators, I do want to go down this tree just to kind of give some, uh, at least these ones just to reduce the cost of how much the coordinators are going to cost. But the first thing, I think I want to... Do I want offensive or defensive development? Probably offensive. I think we're going to go with offensive. Now that locks up that, but that does not lock up defense. That's good. So yeah, we're going to go offensive first, and we're going to kind of go down, uh, try to get the quarterbacks as quick as possible for Stetson Bennett here. But that is what we're going to do with that. Man, they've really added some stuff here. Good on Madden. So our defensive coordinator already has a few. And our offensive coordinator doesn't really. But so there's that. Uh, staff management is done there. Now next up, we need to have a discussion. So obviously we're not winning a Super Bowl this year. We're not doing anything this year. Um, I mean, we can maybe make the playoffs, but I highly doubt it with the way this team is looking. Aaron Donald. He is 32 years old. He, his contract is a hefty one. I went ahead and I backloaded it. I restructured it. But, I mean, he's going to cost $40 million next year. And do I want to keep him around when I know we are not winning? Or do I want to trade him and give him a Super Bowl opportunity? I mean, look at his motivation. He wants a team that has a franchise quarterback. He wants to win a ring. And he also wants no income tax. L.A. is literally the worst spot to be in the country for that. But, I mean, he wants to win a ring. We're not winning a ring. I think I'm going to look through trade options for him and kind of see what we could get out of him and then make a decision on that. All right, so we have made a blockbuster trade. We are sending Aaron Donald and Tutu Atwill as well as a fifth round pick this year to the New York Jets for Elijah Vera Tucker, McCole Hardman, a first this year, a first next year, and a third this year. This is a huge trade. Um, McCole Hardman for Tutu Atwell. Um, I really like that. McCole Hardman, they're both unproven. McCole Hardman is slightly better. Um, he's got the speed on him. But Tutu Atwell, uh, the Jets are wanting to take him on and try to develop him. McCole Hardman is has had a small uh, recent history of injuries. He was always kind of banged up with the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Jets are going to want to take someone who is a bit more unproven, yes, but also a bit, um, you know, has a higher ceiling, I think, than McCall Hardman. And then, obviously, for Aaron Donald, we needed a right guard. We need to start building our offensive line. Elijah Vera Tucker is young. He's good. And I think he can definitely help out um, here in the future. And then we got some draft picks as well. So, yeah, that's going to be the trade. And I'm very excited about this. I, you know, it, it sucks to see Aaron Donald go, but he's going to go try to win a ring with the Jets this year. 
and we are going to start our rebuild now instead of pushing that back and yeah so i am i'm i'm psyched about it man i'm i'm very excited mccall hardman's going to go into that two slot this is the offense elijah vera tucker slides into right guard uh so building up that offensive line Allen will come back uh, in a, in a few weeks. Defense, you know, we lost lost Aaron Donald, and our defense is looking real rough. We pretty much just have Jordan Fuller. Uh, this draft, we are going to have to go heavy on the defensive side of the ball. But I mean, we're going to save a ton of money next year by getting rid of Donald now instead of holding that out. But yeah. We are going to go into our weekly strategy now. And then, after we go into our weekly strategy, we are playing quarterback Brock Purdy. Is it just me or does he look a lot like Jim Harbaugh? And John Harbaugh, I guess. But he really kind of does. Uh, who? Do, what do we want to do against the 49ers? His strength is deep passing. He's the number two quarterback in deep passing. And they're not... I guess we defend the D-pass. Yeah, I guess that's the way to go here. And then, as far as offense... Um, short pass. We need to keep working on our short game. Um, and there we go. Got our three guys we want to continue to develop here. And we are going to start the training... All right, now that that's done, let's see what the damage is. Our offense looks like Rivers uh, suffered a quad string. He's our third string running back, so that is not too terrible. Anybody else? Looks like we're good. And anyone on the defense? It does not appear so. Yeah, no injuries on the defense. So I believe we are now good to go into the game here. Um, playing the 49ers here at SoFi Stadium. Got a home game, home opener of the season. Aaron Donald won't be here for the home opener. That is slightly upsetting. And welcome into the game. It is rivalry week. This is always the best time of the year. Quarterback Matt Stafford. Last week, not the greatest week. As we are rocking <clears throat> our classics. 1980s jerseys as well as the 49ers they're rocking their 75th anniversary jerseys man i am excited for this one but matt stafford coming out on this first offensive possession last week broke a record in yards had four picks so that definitely contributed to the loss in overtime if you guys have not checked out that game it was one of the greatest games i've ever played there were some wild and I mean wild plays. McCole Hardman wearing number 11 here for us. Cam Akers going to take this one and go for about three yards. Last week, 111 yards and a touchdown on 23 carries. Not a bad week for him. And now... Um, who's all out there? So we got McCole Hardman, Cooper Cup, and Van Jefferson, along with Tyler Higby. And we are going to go here. Tyler Higby's open. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice little first down here to start the drive. Uh, I think we're going to try to see if we can catch them slipping here with the play action. Oh, never mind. I guess I didn't choose play action. Definitely thought I did. Oh, Nicky Bosa. Nicky Bosa. Getting Cam Akers four yards behind the line. Not what you like to see. So now second and 14 here as we step back. McCall Hardman seems to be open out here. And he hangs on to it and he's hurt. Oh my god, we just got him. We just got him. And he is limping. That is not good at all. Third down and three. We move on. As D-Rob seems to be our guy that's going to replace him. They used to be teammates in Kansas City. And that's going to be a stop. Fourth and one from the 42. High ankle sprain. Man, we literally just got him. We will check out this 49ers offense now led by quarterback Brock Purdy. 
Really interesting what they're going to do with Trey Lance. Last week, 230 and four touchdowns, no pick. He had two incompletions all game. He was literally perfect last game. As we check out our defense here without Aaron Donald, and it is not a good start. That is, this is not good. Christian McCaffrey busts one for 36 yards right off the bat. Oh boy. Here we go. Brock Purdy in shotgun. Another handoff. Christian McCaffrey going for another 11 yards. Man, this is, this is tough. Man, the Chargers put a beat down on the Titans there at the bottom of the screen. Eckler, 21 attempts, 67 yards. Not the greatest game by him. Keenan Allen had three touchdowns, though. Another handoff. And, man, they are killing me on the ground. Three rushes, 60 yards. This is not a good start for our defense. They might kill me with play action. Nope, not play action. I'm going to run right up the gut here. Nope. I need to stop going for the knockout, to be honest. Because I keep doing that, and then they break tackles. And that's not good for anybody. We're going to guess run here. We did, and it doesn't matter. Christian McCaffrey getting tackled. Second and goal at the two-yard line now. Got a three-yard rush there. And, man, I just I feel like they're going to run, but they're going to kill me with the pass the second I guess a run. It's another run. Get him. Got him at the one-yard line. Third and goal from the one. They can really do anything here. Oh, man. What do I do? Do I guess run? I'm not going to. It's Elijah Mitchell. They're going to pass. I'm guessing pass. Oh, and Debo catches it for the touchdown. Witherspoon could not knock that out. As he is dancing in the end zone. Man, just not a good start at all. Tomlinson going to take it out. Get out to about the 24-yard line. Like, this is just... Oh, man. Like, our guy, one of the guys we traded for, McCole Hardman, out the first play he has. We're going to get this one. No one really open here. Oh, Cooper Cup got open last second, and Matt Stafford's going to throw it out of bounds. Man, Matt Stafford not playing great. Nick Bosa in his X-Factor. We need to get rid of that as soon as possible. Cam Akers going to bounce it outside and get about 10 yards right there. That's what we like to see. Nice drag route right there. Man, Matt Stafford almost got killed by Nick Bosa. All right, it's second and three here. We're going to try to get them with play action. As I scratch my nose there, please don't look at me. That was embarrassing, but I have an itch. Oh, we got one second. No one, no one going to be opening. That, oh, that was a good throw too. All right, it's third and three here. Into the first quarter. Got to try to make something happen. Way to hang in there, Matt Stafford. He had a man on him. That was great. Great stuff. Now first and 10 for midfield here. Going to hand it off to Cam Akers. Go right up the gut and get tackled. Man, this 49ers D-line is absolutely killing me right now. We got to get this ball out quick. And the runs just aren't really working at all. Cooper Cup down the middle. Shit. I mean, that guy, he was open though. Like, he was open. I mean, if you look right here, like, who am I going to throw to? I made the decision right, right here on the break, right? Oh, oh, oh. I made the decision right here on the break. Who's open? I could have thrown it right there, maybe, to D-Rob. But who else am I throwing to? I mean, I throw it right there. I, I press the button right there. Cooper Cup is open. We just let it too far. And he just jumps her out. Now we need to figure out how to stop this damn run. Oh, it's not a run this time. They got open men all over the field. 
And Kobe Turner is down on the field for us. I'm pretty sure that's Aaron Donald's replacement. So I have no clue who's behind him. Got Hawk, Brown the fourth, Brown the third. Oh my God, father and son duo? <laughs> oh, and we got a sack. Harrison coming in hot to get Brock Purdy down. That was huge. That'll be the end of the first quarter. We are down 7 2 0. Man, I'm, I was liking that sack. We're going to send a blitz here. Oh, this, this is a pass. This is a pure pass, and I can't change the play. That's okay. That was good. Got Debo. Brock Purdy, 4 for 4, 48 yards and a touchdown. And now it is third and 11 as Turner is out for the game. Um, Do we play man? No, we're going to play zone here. We got it locked up. No one here. Oh, my God. Debo just mossed me at the one-yard line. What am I supposed to do right there, man? Are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, my God. We got a sack. I thought they handed off. That was play action. Okay. Now we got him back to the seven. We're going to guess pass here. It was not a pass. That was... God damn it. I'm so frustrated right now, man. We had them locked up. He threw it to Debo. And Debo just fucking mossed me. I was literally spamming Y. Maybe I should have gone for the SWAT? I don't know, man. So they're going to make it a 14-0 lead in the second quarter. All right. After a turnover last drive, Matt Stafford and the boys come out for their third possession of the game. And, I mean, I was throwing a Tyler Higby. Matt Stafford just sailed it. Matt Stafford's really annoying me. I'm going to be honest. He is annoying the heck out of me. As we get it to Cooper Cup there on second down. It's going to be third and five. I mean, I don't really know what we need to do here. All right, here we go. Third and five. Matt Stafford stepping back. We got an open man right there. Is that Brian or Demarcus Robinson? It was indeed. What happened to Tyler Johnson? I haven't seen him all game. And, I mean, just sail it again. Hey, there's Tyler Johnson out there. I'm not going to throw it up to him, I promise. That would be a poor choice by me. This Cooper Cup gets absolutely rattled as he catches that. Ufonga. Absolutely killing Cooper Cup out there. I kind of want to run in this position, but we just don't have a running back for that. We do have a running back for this, though. I'm going to hand it off to Cam Akers here. He's going to get uh, stuck on his own O-line, man. I mean, we need points this drive. It has to happen. Speaking of that, do you remember when the drive goals used to pop up in, like, the top right or something? Was, was that not in last Madden? I thought it was. I mean, that's definitely a fumble, but I'm glad they didn't call it that. Nick Bosa hits Matt Stafford. You hate to see it. We're going to see what we can do here. Don't really know. Oh, Tyler Johnson's open. He's got it. To the 10. To the 5. Down to the 6-yard line. Tyler Johnson. Man. We love that. Big plays by Tyler Johnson right there. Oh my goodness. His first catch of the day is also our biggest play of the day. 
Hand off to Cam Akers right up the gut. He's going to get about three yards. Man, this clock is winding down here in the second quarter as we approach the two-minute warning. Going to hand it off to Sony Michelle on the fullback dive. He only gets about a yard. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do here. Almost like Bryce Hopkins here. I don't like Bryce Hopkins anymore, I lied. Is Matt Stafford about to take this one himself? He is not going to get it. Down to the one. What do we do here? Does anyone remember um, that game Matt Stafford played in Detroit where he hurt himself? He was saying, spike it, spike it, spike it. And then he jumps over the line. That's exactly what we're doing. He didn't get it. Like, come on, man. I was so excited right there. Now, I, we're run committing. I, if they burn us over the top, they burn us. But we're, we're run committing this. Get him. Not in the end zone. I mean, I feel like we run commit again. Two minute warning. They're on like the inch yard line right now. We could get a safety here. We're going to get on yeast. Get him, get him into the end zone. Witherspoon tackles him behind the line. And we are on the board, damn it. We score a touchdown. We're down by, what, five points? Not too bad. We're going to try a screen here to Cam Akers to start off this drive. Looks like we have some blockers, as we do, and we're going to get about eight yards right there. No huddle. Oh, no. Man, that was scary. I didn't really mean to float that. I meant to touch pass it. And the way he ran that route was super weird. Uh, we're going to run this, actually. We got a good formation for it. And we're not going to... Oh, my God, we got it. Okay. I'm okay with that. We definitely did not get that. Oh, oh, Tyler Johnson has a step. He's not going to get it. Okay, I need to not get back into my just throw it long. I need to actually, you know, feel this out. Read the play. Find the open man. We got Hopkins here. He's going to get a first down. We keep on keeping on. So Robinson is out there. He might get open here. He's not getting open here. No one's getting open here. Oh, man. That was just bad. I didn't think that's where he was going. But that's okay. 35 seconds left in the half. As what do we want to do here? We're going to go with this because this play just looks like absolute nuttiness. We're going to zig him because the zig route really works in this game. There we go, Van Jefferson getting up the field. 29 seconds left at the 30-yard line. We're going to try a screen pass here to Sony Michelle now. It worked with Cam Akers. Can it work with Sony? We get it out there. Not as good. We're going to call a timeout. Only a two-yard gain for Sony Michelle. See, like, if we had McCall Hardman, he could make some stuff happen. Man, just don't know what to do here. Cooper Cup in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Cooper Cup. The former triple crown winner catching the touchdown. His second of the season. And I mean, he just kind of went up and got it. I mean, there was really nowhere to go. I rolled out. I mean, nobody was open at all. Probably should have thrown it away, but we didn't. And, yeah, Cooper Cup just goes up and you know, just jumps over. Jumps over Charverius Ward. Easy peasy. Now, with the 49ers only having 15 seconds, I assume they're probably just going to run this clock out, but we're still going to spread the line. And, yeah, they're just going to run it out. McCaffrey's having a good day. Nine rushes, 75 yards. 
And that is going to take us to the second half where the 49ers will receive. We'll see what's going on around the league here. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we're killing them on offensive snaps, but they've just been better. As we go and check out what is going on, we are first going to head to Arizona where the Giants are taking on the Cardinals. Kyler Murray having a decent day. Daniel Jones also not great. Five for 13. Wow. Saquon 57 yards and a touchdown. Next up, we're going to go up to Buffalo, where the Bills are taking on the Raiders. Josh Allen having a, or, uh, I mean, oh, that's a final. Man, the Bills absolutely beat down the Raiders. Josh Allen only 173 yards. We're going to end it in Detroit. They're taking on the Seahawks. Geno, good game. Jared Goff, a terrible game. 150 and two picks, as the Lions are now 0-2. Man, everyone said that the Lions were going to, going to be something this year but starting 0-2 is not good just a cursed franchise so we're checking out some highlights here and I will see you guys here in the second half and this second half is underway here as we are going to kick it off Robbie Gold wearing number 28 god I will never not hate that and we're going to take a knee and Brock Purdy is going to come out for another possession here and our defense hasn't been playing bad. It really hasn't. Given we have nobody on the defense, our run defense is just playing god-awful. But they're not killing us like I thought they would be. I mean, you got to remember, this team was literally in the NFC Championship. Brock Purdy has, you know, the only game he's ever lost in the NFL was one where he started and got hurt. Like, the 49ers are definitely a top five team in the league. Maybe better. Man, as Christian McCaffrey got absolutely lit up right there. But yeah, I definitely think we're going to be dealing with this 49ers problem for a long time coming. I mean, Brock Purdy, if he's going to continue to develop. Oh, is we get a pick? Jones down to the 40. Starting this half off right. I was just talking about Brock Purdy's development. And there he goes throwing interceptions. As we get this half started off on offense now. No one open. And Tyler Higby made a great catch right there. And he start, stopped rolling out so much. Matt Stafford is just not fast. But their D-line is so good, I can't let shit just develop in the pocket. Like, they immediately come get me. And there's nothing I can do. Matt Stafford took a hit right there. Maybe we try to get the run game going with Cam Akers here again. And, well, that just didn't work. Man, we really... I would like to get a touchdown off of this turnover. You only get so many turnovers. Brock Purdy just threw his first pick of the entire season. I don't expect that to be a trend the rest of this game. Oh my god. And it's fourth down. So we're going to kick the field goal. I mean, that's okay. I would have liked some more points, but... Three points is fun. Kick is up and is good. We are only down by two. Now Brock Purdy after the interception probably expecting a run here and oh no it was an RPO George Kittle gonna get tackled by the ankles Brock Purdy has thrown seven passes all game this is really just the Jimmy G method you know if they had a quarterback like a Joe Burrow a Patrick Mahomes a Jalen Hurts they would be one of the greatest teams of all time I would honestly expect them to have an undefeated season. But they just don't have that quarterback. Man, I should have hit the middle. I didn't. Christian McCaffrey over 100 yards now. And here we go. McCaffrey going to break open in the hole. He's going to get tackled after another 15-yard gain. And, I mean, I just don't know what to do about this run, man. 
Now they got Elijah Mitchell out here, so likely going to be a pass. Going to go ahead and guess that. And Witherspoon just couldn't get there. Brandon Ayuk. Brock Purdy almost up to 100 yards now. Christian McCaffrey back out there. It's probably going to be a run. Could be a screen as well. Nope, it's going to be a run. So I don't know how much I trust my defense. I mean, if I... If they're going to keep scoring, do I go for two on my next one? That way I'm, you know, a point down when they score again. And Brock Purdy officially over 100 yards. Not quite yet to 10 attempts yet. We're going to run commit here. And it was a good, good guess. As Aaron Banks is injured, that might affect the run game. Looks like they're going to run the ball again here. No, play action. And that's going to be a touchdown to George Kittle. Man, just nothing I could do there. Had the right play call. We blitzed. We should have been able to get through there, but our guys just got blocked. They had the perfect blocking scheme for that. And then George Kittle was just open in the back of the end zone, or in the front of the end zone. All right. Taking the field here. Into the third quarter. We've got to get something going. Johnson decided to not... I was distracted because Tyler Johnson decided to stand on the line for three seconds after the play started. Like, what are we doing? And now, I mean, we're just in the dumps here. Second and 27 from, like, the three-yard line. And I just can't throw the ball. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, we're just going to have to go deep. Probably just going to throw it up to Cooper Cup here. Oh, I'm going to throw it to Bryce Hopkins, who catches the ball, and it's fourth and one. Do we go for this? Do we go for this? We're going to see here. I do like this play. Play design. I like the way the defense is set. We're going to do it. We're going to run, and Cam Akers is going to get it. That was huge. Needed to be done. There we go. Tyler Higby. Matt Stafford definitely having a better game this week. Not as far as yards and touchdowns, but he's not turning the ball over as much. We had that one play in the first quarter, but outside of that, he's been good. As the third quarter ends here, going to do one more handoff. That's going to be a first down going into the fourth quarter. Down, down by nine. 200 uh, passing yards, 26 rushing yards. And, like, it's not like I haven't been running the ball either. Like, I could be running it more, but I'm still running the ball. You, just no one's doing anything with it. And, like, we just get stopped behind the line like that. 11 rushes, 18 yards. That's less than two yards of carry. Like, it's just, it's a horrible showing from Cam Akers here. We're going to go with spacing here. Tyler Johnson might be the read. Tyler Johnson is the read. And third and nine. I think it's four down territory, even here. So we might go for something big. I like the way their defense is set up. We might be able to get uh, Cooper Cup right off the gun here. No, but we are going to have Van Jefferson down the sideline. And that's going to be caught at the 16-yard line. First read was Cooper Cup. I almost set myself in and just throw it to him regardless. But I didn't. I waited. I watched it. Now Cam Akers is going to hit the edge and get a first down as well. Now he's over two yards of carry. And here we go. Let's see what we can get going here. As there's nothing. Oh, Higby, and we just throw a pick. We, we messed up. We messed up real bad. I panicked. I went to go roll out to someone, saw he was covered, saw Higby coming over or coming open, and I was like, ah, oh, we can get this. Could not get it. That, god dang it. You hate to see it. You truly do. And they're just going to catch, and he's going to break a tackle. And he's just going to keep going. This is tough. Because they're going to start just killing clock. 
They need to be prepared for the run. But now they're just passing. And Debo's got a step, but Brock Purdy overthrows him. Man, that was almost a touchdown right there. Second and ten. I am expecting a run here. I, I am. It's a run. I'm going to guess run. Oh, shit. It wasn't a run. Oh, my God. Brandon, I dropped the ball. That's a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a touchdown right there. Brandon Ayuk just straight up dropped it. Now third and ten. We got to make a stop. And we do. There we go. See, now if we would have scored last possession, even if it was just a field goal, instead of being stupid and throwing a pick, then maybe we could be going for the lead right here. But nope. I'm not that smart. Nice little return. We're going to have the ball at the 40-yard line. Here we go as we come out halfway through the fourth quarter. Cooper Cup's going to be open there. And he's going to get it to midfield. Matt Stafford probably going to go over 300 again. I like these uh, settings a lot better. Because, you know, we're not breaking records. These are pretty realistic games. I mean, Brock Purdy barely has 100 yards. And, I mean, there's just nowhere for Cam Akers to go. I need to just stop running the ball. Ooh, Cooper Cup in the backfield here. We like that. We like Cooper Cup right here. And, no, they're just going to jump because they have a 75-inch vertical. That's wild. Uh, let's see, this play really worked last time. We're going to see who we got here. Cooper Cup did not have him. Like, we need to go for it, but I can't on 4th and 17, man. It's telling me to go for it. Never mind, I guess we have to. Can't trust the defense. That's what they're saying. Oh, Tyler Johnson. Tyler Johnson making the catch! Down to the 15, 16 yard line. Tyler Johnson is really, he's just our savior, man. If something is bad, throw it to Tyler Johnson. Three receptions, 83 yards. This is the second week now where Tyler Johnson has just put the team on his back and made a play when it needs to happen. As I might go Tyler Johnson again right here. I'm not going Tyler Johnson. That was the same exact play where I threw the pick. I roll out to go to Tyler Johnson, see Tyler Higby coming open, almost throw it to him. Third and seven, knowing it's four down territory, it's not a huge deal if we just take what we get. And we're going to take Van Jefferson. He's still going to get the first. Now first and goal. I think we need to start calling no huddle though, actually. We're going to hit the screen here. Cam Akers is going to lose four yards. I mean, we need to no huddle. Um, Michael Cam Akers again. We are, and he's going to drop the ball. Third and goal from the nine. We need to get at least five here to be comfortable with our next play call. Oh, man. Not a lot going on here. Oh, we got Demarcus Robinson in the end zone for the touchdown. D Rob. And now, do we go for two? Here's my theory on going for two, right? Let's say we go for two and the 49ers score. Then we'd be down by eight next possession. Because it would be, you know, 28 to 20. I think we go for two. It doesn't hurt anything. It really doesn't. There's nothing that changes. Now, do we run the ball? We're going to go Cam Akers inside zone, and that's going to work. There we go. 21 to 20, down by one point. Man, if I wouldn't have thrown the pick, we'd be winning right now. Three minutes left in the game. we got to make one more stop, and this is where we might miss Aaron Donald. As Brock Purdy comes out here, uh, do we expect a run here? It's going to be a run. 
and we're going to get that tackle. Might be his shortest gain of the day. As he has just been killing us all game long. And now this is this might be another run. It is going to be another run right up the middle. And there's just no one there. We're not going to start calling timeouts yet. Until after the two minute warning. But we're going to prepare for runs. It's not a run though this time. And that's wide open George Kittle. He's running down. And now they're in field goal range. Okay, so here's what they're going to do. They're going to start running the ball. So we just need to run commit, run commit, run commit. Run commit right here. Oh my god. And we missed the tackle. See, but since we went for two last possession, this is not bad. Because we can go down and tie the game and then have another overtime game. Alright, so here we go. Minute 53 left. Down by 8. We need to go down and make a play. Van Jefferson starting off the end. He's going to drop the ball. I was just going to say starting off the drive with a nice little completion. But nope, can't have that. 43 passes, 17 rushes. I mean, we've tried to get the run game going. It just has not worked today. Cooper Cup going to catch that. Matt Stafford, 345, two touchdowns, two picks. As we got to kind of put a hustle on here. We're going to try to go to Tyler Johnson, I think. He's not open, but Cooper Cup is. Right there down the middle. Down to the 37-yard line. We're going to have to no huddle here. Oh, nothing going. And Matt Stafford's just going to throw it behind his head. That was cool. And I think we're just going to go deep here. We're going to take a shot, see if we can make something happen. We're not going to be able to make anything happen. Can we at least get a couple yards here? We did not. Oh, my God, Matt Stafford is injured. That was not good. Can Stetson Bennett come out? And lead us on a game tying drive. Oh my god. The storyline here. I need to call a timeout. I can't call a timeout. It's Joe Flacco for a play I guess. But this was not supposed to happen. It's Joe Flacco's going to hit. Cooper Cup. And I guess Joe Flacco's leading this game. Game tying drive. I really want Stetson Bennett out here. Sad he's not. As Tyler Johnson is wide open in the back of the end zone. Okay, Matt Stafford is coming back. It was just a shoulder strain. Everything is fine. Man, that was nerve-wracking. Really thought he got actually hurt. As he's going to get hit again. Not good. And, I mean, it is 3rd and 14, 20 seconds left in the game. We need to make something happen. Get it to Cooper Cup there. And he's going to catch it. 15 seconds left from the 5-yard line. We basically have to, have to score on this play. Or it's got to be incomplete. Cam Akers might be wide open. He's not, but he is. Oh, my God, we threw a pick. I thought Van Jefferson was open in the middle. I did not see Fred Warner there. As Fred Warner gets his second pick, and that's going to end the game. Matt Stafford throws his seventh of the season. Not something you want to see at all. It was such a good game up until the end, man. Matt Stafford got hurt, and I just went in shambles. I didn't know what to do. I mean, we can try to... We can try to cause a fumble here. Fumble, 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 nothing. That's going to end the game. McCaffrey, 167 and two touchdowns. It's crazy. On the bright side, I mean, the Cardinals are going to lose. So that's good. As we check out the stats here, Matt Stafford, 390, two touchdowns and three picks. Brock Purdy, 173, two touchdowns and an interception. Um, I mean, man, 48 passing attempts, 390 yards. It still says injury. 
Is he injured injured? Cooper Cup, 9 for 131 and a touchdown. Van Jefferson, 4 for 68. Um, Cam Akers, 3 for 15. Tyler Higby, 3 for 33. Tyler Johnson, 3 for 83. D-Rob, 3 for 25. Bryce Hopkins, Sonny Michelle, and McCole Hardman. We had a lot of... I mean, we spread the ball around. Uh, any sacks? We had two sacks. Malik Harris and Byron Young. One pick from Ernest Jones. And that was that. We do have some upgrades for Steve Avila. Uh, we are going to get Pass Protector. Plus one Pass Block Power, pass, pass Block Finesse, and Pass Block. As we are about halfway to seeing his development. And Van Jefferson, we're going to go Playmaker. I don't want to develop him as a slot because he's just not going to be a slot. Plus two ball carry vision, plus three break tackle, plus one juke move, plus one medium route running, one short route, and one spin move. So that was good right there. Applied the skill points. See what we got to manage here. Nothing. And we are going to go to week three. Uh, and this is where we're going to sign our scouts. So I'll get the draft board together and in um, the next episode we will go over the top players of the draft class that I think, guys that I have my eye on. Uh, real quick, we are going to go over some of the stats around the league. Like, uh, see, this is what I don't like about the first game. is Because, like, this last game, 350, not bad. Like, that's a normal amount for Matt Stafford. I feel like it could be. But that first game where I threw 500, it just kind of killed it for the realism of that. But seven touchdowns, seven picks. That cannot be happening. Cam Akers, 37 for 137. Um, receiving, Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson, Tyler Johnson, all above 100. And then, yeah. And let's check the league, see who the top guys are around the league. We'll start with passing. Um, Matt Stafford and Geno Smith because of that week one game. But outside of that, you got Patrick Mahomes, uh, Joe Burrow, seven touchdowns, no picks, six touchdowns, no picks. Who's leading the league in interceptions? You know what? I'm not alone. Anthony Richardson, two touchdowns, seven interceptions. Holy cow, that's awful. And leading the league in touchdowns is Trevor Lawrence with nine. Um, rushing, touch, or rushing yards, we got Zeke at number one. Bijan at number two, CMC at number three. Man, wait, did, was he hurt week one? Cause that was last week's stat line. Twenty one for one sixty seven and two touchdowns. I think he might have gotten hurt week one. Then receiving Cooper Cup leading the league. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna do it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed week three. We will be going up against the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burr. And then week four, we got Anthony Richardson and the Colts. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did like the video, um, then hit that like button and subscribe if you are enjoying this series. And I will see you guys next time.